everyone, welcome to the Astro Backyard. My name is Trevor Jones and tonight I'm going to be setting up on my back patio for a night of astrophotography. Tonight's target is M81 and M82. It's two targets in one. These are two galaxies uh, within the same field of view in the constellation Ursa Major. So uh, as you might have seen earlier, I had to clear the snow off the patio. It's been a very, uh, very snowy week. We actually had a huge snowstorm earlier in the week. But uh, tonight's Thursday, March 16th, and uh, it, the forecast calls for clear skies all night long. It's just dark enough to see uh, Polaris now through my uh, Polar Finder scope. So uh, I'm just getting the rig set up. Uh, it's still, it's in that uh, nice point of the night where it's still bright enough to see what you're doing, but dark enough for the brightest stars to pop out. So I'm just going to be getting set up and uh, I will check in soon. weather or what but uh, I've made about every bonehead move uh, an astrophotographer could make in one night tonight. Uh, it started off with uh, my calibration process. I forgot that uh, daylight savings time uh, has kicked in so uh, everything was an hour off and I couldn't figure out why. Uh, also uh, actually twice now I've left the Batonoff mask on the scope during a four minute exposure after I thought I was all set up. Like I focused, started my sequence and uh, left the batten off mask on. So I'm just blowing frames left, right and center. But uh, I really can't complain because uh, like I've always said, if I learn one new thing uh, in an entire night, it's, it's really worth it. Because uh, I just keep growing my knowledge and uh, you know, improving my image quality. And uh, I really think you guys should uh, should follow that advice as well, because it's a lifelong hobby, and uh, so there's lots of time to continue to do this. I've got this perfect star diffraction uh, pattern on the star Dube, and here I'm going to go out of focus a little bit, so you can see it change, and now I'm going to wheel in a little bit and see how that line in the middle is moving closer. So, totally happy with the batten off mask and uh, I'm really glad I have it now. Okay guys, let me set the uh, scene for you for tonight. So I'm using the new uh, ZWO ASI 071 CCD camera. And uh, I call it a CCD camera, it's a, it's a one shot color, but it actually has a CMOS sensor. Um, it's 16 megapixels and it's the same sensor that's used in the uh, Nikon D7000. And uh, so this camera was loaned to me from Ontario Telescope and Accessories, generously. And uh, so what an awesome opportunity to use my first CCD camera and to step into that world which, uh, to be honest, I was scared to jump into being a DSLR imager for so long. I knew this was a step in the right direction to uh, grow my astrophotography. Uh, but along with new hardware comes new software. And uh, so for me, I, I ended up choosing Sequence Generator Pro um, just because from everything I've heard and all the videos I've watched, uh, there's just a lot of material online um, for me to learn from more so than uh, the software that I originally planned to download, which was uh, Astro Photography Tool, APT. And it's a little daunting because it's very in-depth and there's a lot of settings. Uh, so the combination of new hardware and new software, uh, this it's tough to put together a video like I normally would. Um, with all This is all new territory, so I didn't want to be fumbling around and, and walking you through something I have no idea what I'm doing. 
but I'm up and running now, and uh, I'm imaging M81, M82, Bode's Galaxy, and the Cigar Galaxy. And uh, yeah, I've, I've been able to work out all the kinks for uh, SGP and at least use it in its most basic form. 